Hi, I'm Lucy Flores, and you're watching Free Speech TV. Today our revolution announced the addition of new board members, myself being one of them, uh, in order to continue the amazing work that Bernie Sanders and others started. And I'm incredibly excited and ready to uh, move this forward. I will be joined by Senator Nina Turner and Ben Jealous and Jim Hightower from Texas, just some really incredible, amazing, dynamic people. And I'm so uh, privileged to have the opportunity to continue Bernie's work, continue this political movement that millions of people across this country have joined and uh, you know, to keep moving progress forward. Well, some of the issues that are very close to my heart and are very personal to me is criminal justice reform, um, specifically juvenile justice reform, for-profit prison reform, um, and you know, various other aspects of criminal justice reform, whether it's mandatory sentencing and, and other things that have, um, that have brought this country to where it is in terms of leading the amount of people that we have incarcerated um, per capita in this entire world it's just this is just such a it's just such a an example of who we are not this is not who we are and so that's very personal to me and it's something that i will continue to work on um, criminal justice reform is also something that our revolution will work on as well to the extent that we can um, and that hopefully people who are a part of our revolution will you know just because the board or, or the group itself um, you know can't spend 100 percent of its time working on 100 percent of the issues that is uh, not the point. The point is, is that our people, the people who are part of this revolution, they can continue moving and acting on those issues, uh, which is what I'm going to do in my personal capacity, is to continue my advocacy for criminal justice reform um, and also reproductive rights and reproductive justice as well, which is another issue that's very important to me. I'm so, so proud to be involved with so many amazing people, um, you know, women, people of color, um, you know, amazing progressives, former elected officials, non-elected officials, movement leaders, academics. I mean, the, the board is really reflective of what I think, frankly, democracy should look like. Our board looks like what our U.S. Senate should look like, what our House should look like, what our state legislature should look like. Um, you know, and I think that I'm, I'm probably not speaking out of turn to say that this is probably one of the most uh, diverse and, um, and eclectic board out of really all of the organizations that exist out there um, that are doing the kind of work that our revolution is doing. My background is, is very atypical. It's not like a regular politician. Um, in fact, I don't really know a lot of my colleagues or, or anyone uh, in Congress and state legislatures who uh, shares my background and the experiences that I had, um, but it is typical for so many people in this country, which is why I talk about it as often as I do and, and why I'm so drawn to some of these issues. Um, I had a very, very challenging uh, time growing up in my community in, in Northeast Las Vegas. I moved there when I was two years old because of a family tragedy. Uh, two of my older brothers were murdered around the same time. One of them was my dad's firstborn son. Uh, they got involved in drugs and gangs and um, my dad took that very, very hard and moved us all to, to Las Vegas to try to start over. And we lived like very typically uh, low-income immigrant communities do in this country. Um, and, and we made do. We didn't have a lot, but we made do. It wasn't until my mom left my family when I was nine that I started to experience a lot of problems. And I didn't have a support system, not in school, not in my community. My dad was literally working day and night to keep us clothed and fed. So despite being a gifted and talented education, I started doing very poorly because I didn't know what, I didn't understand what was happening at home. So I got involved in gangs and um, it was very easy to do that in my community. I ended up getting in a lot of trouble and doing things that I shouldn't have been and ended up on parole at 15 and dropped out of high school at 17. 
And of course, there was no indication that I would end up being not only the first Latina ever elected to the state legislature in the history of Nevada, but representing the very same community that I grew up in and that I was also incarcerated in. And so for me to be able to then represent my community in that way, it was always very important for me to um, not only talk about these issues that I saw that were still facing our community, but to also talk about what made a difference in my own life. And that ended up being my parole officer when I was 15 years old, someone who finally treated me like a kid with problems instead of just a bad kid, the way I had been treated throughout my entire time in the juvenile justice system. So to know that as individuals, we can make a difference to know that I got lucky that that it were it not for this person, I very well could have continued on the path that so many people are still on, that so many people stayed on and are now in our prison system, in our for-profit systems where you have people who are literally profiting in the hundreds of millions of dollars to keep all of these bodies incarcerated. So um, I think it's just been very important for me to be as open and honest as I can about those challenges, specifically because I feel like we don't have the representation in our government or in our advocacy of people who have experienced the problems that so many people in our country are still facing. It is so important to continue our revolution with the people. The, our revolution is not a top-down approach. It's not driven by the board. It's not driven by consultants. It's driven by you. And the only way that we can continue this is by having you stay involved, by having people continue to sign up. And we're going to continue this revolution together. It's going to be us, just as Bernie has always said. So I'm really excited and I hope that you will join us.